Hey Vision Chase, this is Dr. Bird here with another social studies lesson for you today. Today I'm going to be answering an email question sent to me from Katrina in Chicago. And Katrina's question pertains to the Cold War. In a speech given in 1946 in Fulton, Missouri, Winston Churchill referred to an Iron Curtain. Now this speech would be one of the more pivotal moments during the early years of the Cold War. And Katrina's question is, what was the Iron Curtain? Throughout history, Russia had been vulnerable to attacks on its western side. In the 17th century, the Polish invaded Russia. In 1812, it was Napoleon Bonaparte who took his shot at conquering Russia. And most recently, it was Germany that attacked Russia during World War I and World War II. So as World War II was coming to a close in Europe, the Nazis would surrender their conquered territory to Russia or the Soviet Union as it's known at this time. These territories included Albania, Bulgaria, Hungary, Czechoslovakia, Romania, Poland, and Yugoslavia. Now what's most important about these countries is that they were along the western border of the Soviet Union. Now Joseph Stalin, who was the leader of the Soviet Union at this point, he came up with an idea to use those countries as a buffer zone to give the Soviet Union a little bit more time to prepare just in case they were going to be attacked. He went against the promise he made at the Yalta conference in which he promised to allow free elections in these countries. But instead, what he would do is he would install communist governments in these formerly held Nazi territories. So as a result, as we look at this map, we see that Eastern Europe is totally controlled by the Soviet Union. Now, it was during that same year of the Iron Curtain speech that Joseph Stalin said that capitalism and communism can never exist. And so you can see that things were going to get worse before they got better between the Soviet Union and the United States and their allies. So when Churchill spoke, he was referring to this invisible line, which I have made visible for you, that divides Eastern and Western Europe. So these Eastern European countries would be under Soviet Union control until the end of the Soviet Union in the early 1990s. And the Iron Curtain would be no more. Well, that's our social studies lesson for the day. I thank you so much for watching. Please feel free to download the worksheet that goes along with this video. Also check the Vision Chasers website for more tips and tools to help you as you chase your vision of success. Well, until we meet again, please keep chasing the vision. I'm Dr. Bird, and I will talk to you soon. Bye.